Oh hi, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to put a thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe or share. Um, I'm a kind of a news channel, but not all kinds of news. It's specific to what I feel is beneficial for society or our local community. And I just like to highlight things that are going on. Um, today I wanted to talk about Ramona Samuels. Ramona Samuels, yeah. She is a young lady in Jamaica who believes that music is influencing the behaviour of young children adversely and she wants it stopped in all the taxis and all the buses. So she's got this campaign going on. This campaign is, um, what's it called? The campaign is called... Um, Oh, what's the campaign called? Excuse Me Driver. I'm not quite sure why she's called Excuse Me Driver, but in any event, she feels as though music is adverse and she reckons it's uncivil and it's affecting the behaviour of a lot of young people. Now, what would I say to that? I would say, does gospel music influence young people favourably then? Not necessarily. You could also say, which I would say is that, you know, um, charity begins at home. How, what is the home life like? A lot of times when you see these children misbehaving, it's got nothing to do with outside influences or external influences. It's got to do with what they've seen growing up. And that is what's influencing them a lot of the time. And I would like to think that whether they, if they were raised right, whether they hear um, uncivil or lewd music, it's not going to affect them. They're either going to shut their ears to it or they're not going to want to listen to it. And that's how it is. People don't listen to what they don't want to listen to. And I don't believe that just because it's playing in a bus or on a in a taxi, that it's going to affect the young people's behaviour. What this lady is saying is that, you know, the taxi men are actually luring young girls into their taxis by playing the music. I'm not quite sure how that happens once again. I still believe that if a child has values and is brought the right way, brought up the right way, it's not going to affect her. Sometimes when we see young Jamaicans from a Western point of view, they seem so adult. They seem so mature. I mean, we see three and four year olds talking like big people. And so, and they watch big people and young people are always looking, they're always modelling after who is around them. So we have to make sure that we're good role models. The people around are good role models so that when they hear negative music, like I said, they're not going to be influenced. Um, I just wanted to say that um, Ramona Samuels is a Jamaican mother who is fed up of young students emulating the language of lewd Jamaican music in the classroom and on the streets. Um, she's the progenitor of Excuse Me Driver campaign and is blaming public transportation operators for ushering in a new age of incivility. She points to a video footage of crass behaviour by minors on buses and taxis and is targeting the removal of lewd music from public passenger vehicles. She wants the authorities to intervene and enforce the laws. Taxi men and bus drivers are the use music to lure impressionable and naive girls. Cardi B song Get Me Money give girls the wrong ideas and some girls look at Cardi B's story as a dream come true. So if she says it, I'm going to do it. We need the authorities to step in and the public. The adults in the room to step up, Roma Samuels told Luke News reporter Claude Mills. But to be honest, I don't think that children are that susceptible. I really don't. I've got faith in our young people. I've got faith that if they're brought up right, they will continue to do the right thing. But if they've been raised wrong, they will go off the tracks and they will do anything to attract attention. A lot of times when people kind of get involved in, you know, what she calls crass behaviour. It's attention seeking. So I think put your children on the right track and you won't have to worry about what music they listen to. And that's all I've got to say. Bye bye.